Okay, for the bass part for uh, in the end, I'm going to have you jump around a little bit. Okay, it's going to take a little practice to get used to this. All right, you can play it. You can practice this even on a regular guitar because the strings are tuned the same. Okay, so I want you to go down to the. Uh, we actually count up on a guitar or on a bass, but because you might be practicing on a guitar, I'm just going to show you which string from here. We're going to. Here's the last one, second to last one, third to last string on the first fret. All right. That's where we're going first. So find that note and play it four times. Okay. Now while your first finger is here, put your middle finger down on the last string on the second fret up. Play that four times. So, so far we've gone first fret, string to the second fret. Up, second to last string now, we're going to the fourth fret. You see where I am? I'm on the fourth fret. You can play it with your first finger if you want, or you can play it with your pinky or your third finger. Four times, second to last string, fourth fret. And then second fret. The same string. That's quite a bit more than normal. Usually we use one string. Now we're using three, but I totally think you can do it. Watch again. First fret. And you try that. And then last string, second fret. Go ahead, try that. Now fourth fret of the second to last string. And then second fret of the same string. And then we start over. Second fret, second to last string, fourth fret, same string, second fret. You're only playing one string, remember. Now, if this is too fast for you, pause it, pause the video work on each string, each fret, until you memorize it. I'm doing the same thing over and over. First fret, second to last string. Second fret, last string. Some of you might play this this one on the fourth fret with on the second to last string with one finger like this. Or you might use a different finger and then you slide down to the second string. I'm playing it both ways. You do which one's more comfortable for you. fast, remember, you can always pause it. I'm using just one finger instead of my pinky. The 
it's the same fret, fourth fret, second to last string. I'm going to show you the same thing on a guitar, just in case you're playing the bass part on a guitar while you're practicing at home. It looks a little different because there's six strings on the guitar, but you use the same strings and frets that you would on a bass, okay? If you're using a bass at home, don't even worry about the next part. Okay, if you're using a guitar to practice your bass part at home, it's the same frets, the same bottom three sounding string, same strings. So you count over, one, two, three, and back. All right, this first fret is gonna be our first note. See where I'm at? Right there. Second fret of the last string. Fourth fret of the second to last string. Second fret of the same string. First fret. If this is too fast, pause the video. Don't get frustrated about it. Part of practicing is just learning how to do it. If you're already really, really, really good at it, you wouldn't need to practice. Again, here we go. First fret. Four times. Second fret on the last string, four times. Fourth fret on the second to last string. Second fret. Same string. Back one string to the first fret. Good. Second fret of the last string. Alright, see if you can get that. Good job.